welcome to Ranger Roo YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be going over the history of the National Park Foundation. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. So in past videos, I have explained what the National Park Foundation is. However, today's video is not quite that. We'll be going more into the history, why it was created initially, as well as how that played into the overall history of the National Park Service. So just to sum up a little bit about where the national parks would be around the time of the creation of the National Park Foundation, the National Park uh, Yellowstone, which is the first national park in the world, was founded in 1872. And then the National Park Service was founded in 1916 by Congress as a country nationwide service. So the National Park Foundation was officially founded in 1967 by a congressional charter as a way for private citizens to directly support the parks. This was so the NPS could have direct support for the expansion and further protection of the national parks, whether it be through financial contributions directly, land donation, or even other means. Today, it has kind of shifted a little bit more. The National Park Foundation works to protect wildlife and park lands, preserve history and culture, educate and engage the youth, and connect to people everywhere for the wonder of the parks. They do it in collaboration with the National Park Service and the park partner community, and the generous support of donors without whom the work of the National Park Foundation literally wouldn't exist. So the National Park Foundation does directly have programs and other things that help support the National Park Service, but the biggest thing they do is the donations. They are the official charity of the National Parks, and if you want to directly support the National Parks, this is what they use. This is the charity, the National Park Foundation. <laughs> So the National Park Service is officially funded by Congress primarily, both through the annual appropriation cycle as well as mandatory funds. The National Park System also receives funding through park entrance and user fees, like those you pay when you go into a national park and the private philanthropy of people also pays for the NPS. The funding from private philanthropy primarily comes through the nonprofit organizations such as the National Park Foundation. Since the original founding of the National Park Service in 1916, and even before that with the other national parks, there are or were considerably less national parks than there were now. There are about 400 Plus, there are about 430, I believe, national park sites across the entire system. So obviously that requires a lot of money from paying the employees to just upkeeping the entire things, the buildings. Plus there's a lot of science and research that is funded by the national parks. So much goes into it. And one of the important factors of the National Park Service ecosystem in order to keep it alive and thriving is the donations, which comes through the National Park Foundation. And if you are to scroll on their website, the official NPF website, um, you can see all of the major companies that support them. And that is because this is this is the official foundation. So the National Park Foundation isn't its own separate thing. It runs alongside the National Park Service in order to provide funds for the national parks. And this is a way to differentiate the charity aspect of the National Park Foundation and the National Park Service. So when you donate money to the national parks, it goes to the National Park Foundation, which goes to the National Park Service. So ultimately, national parks can collect money through two ways, either directly that streams into the park from park fees and stuff, or from the overall system in which it's divided equally. And obviously some parks will receive more funding than others. So this is just a way to differentiate it from the whole system because money is a very complicated issue. If you would like to find out more about like specific staff members and presidents and CEOs of the National Park Foundation, as well as major contributors to it, or if you'd like to contribute to it yourself, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Other than that, the history of the National Park Foundation is pretty simple and it's pretty straightforward, but it also really plays into the National Park Service and it's important to understand how the places that we love are protected, not just the fact that they are. Well, everybody, that's the end in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below with your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Also, be sure to click that red subscribe button and the little bell next to it to always know when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you next video. Bye.